What's going on, everybody? String Car Breaks. It is Throwback Thursday. I was going to go live, but my internet's a little bit sketchy again. They divided it up between like a 2.4 5.0, so I need them to re-put them back together. Some crazy tech stuff from what I understood. But anyhow, we're going to be ripping this 1986 Don Russ baseball box. So let me squeeze on over this way to show you guys. It's BBCE certified. Inside here is plenty of Hall of Famers. Mostly going to be looking for the Conseco and McGriff. There are some other great cards in there. If you could find them in uh, PSA 10, that will make your money on this. We got this box for like, if you want it for like 30 bucks, they go for about, I think, still around 50-ish. So we're going to give it a shot, see what happens here. And eventually, we're going to start putting stuff like this in the store. That would be breaks.com. So I'm going to pop the packs out here. There was nobody good in the bottom. But some people like these boxes, so let's see what happens here. Bottom was, you got to see Willie Hernandez, the puzzle piece, Kirk Gibson, and Doug, whatever his name was. Yes, you can tell that I'm pretty beat tired. Starting to feel a little under the weather. So we're going to knock this out here real quick. Alrighty. So these things here are really hard to get centered. So if you find something centered, it's probably going to be worth it in the long run. Like I said, it could say Co McGriff for the two big ones out of here. Like, let's see if I can find some. That's kind of close. Top and bottom's a little bit off. But, you never know. Curry Puckett. Our last center. We'll be able to put the stacks here today. But we're going to give it a shot, see how we do. Maybe pull that Conseco. Maybe pull McGriff. Watched a couple of these uh, get open. It's been pretty much or miss boxes, really. So maybe we could do a little bit better in some of the other videos that are out there. Again, we all puzzle pieces. Uh oh. As always, though, we do thank you guys for support watching the videos. Hopefully, they're entertaining. A little bit of educational stuff going on as well. Gives you guys a little bit of an idea of if you want to go out and try to purchase a box, what your odds are, the chances with it centering. For me, if I win it, it's a lot easier. If I don't hit anything big, I, lost it. I think these are about 150 ish BBC certified, so we got it for about fifth of the price. Other than that, hopefully everybody's having a pretty good week. Tomorrow we got uh, some immaculate basketball. We have some draft basketball, Zion Hutton. Not too sure if we're going to open them up yet uh, for ourselves. We were invited to razz them off on CardVision.tv Saturday night. So if you're bored and you want to come by and try to win at a fraction of the cost, you're more than welcome. Wow, look at that wax poured right off of that. And a lot of good for the puzzle piece there. Let me get this wax up. It just bugs me seeing it all the time. So we have the first pack. This is the first rest of that row. Very, very hard grades on this stuff. I saw C so I was starting to get a little excited. Oral Hershizer. Like I said, there's plenty of cards in this set. Tom Seaver. A little bit off on center, not by much. And the good thing is it doesn't have like a coating on it, so we're not like really sitting there and they're sticking out. Pulling apart like some of the newer stuff. Well, not these stuff we were opening up the other day.
Pete Rose. <laughs> Dusty Bacon. Wow. Lance Parrish. Ryan Sandberg. Pretty uh, centered on that. And I had a like a little bit of a skip breath, I guess. This kid, I had one Conseco out of this set, pretty well beat up. I remember being off centered. Gary Carter, the Hank Aaron. That's what your puzzle piece looked like. If you put her on. Keep on seeing that uh, Jose there, the Raider rookie. I'm like, man, Nolan Ryan. And I believe this is one of the ones if you get a 10 in, it's worth a little bit of money. But you can see it's off left to right. That's just from my own PC. George Bell. Kurt Gibson, 82, 81, I think, yeah, it was his. Well, we struck out in the first row. You did get a Nolan Ryan for my PC, so that's always good. We do have a good bit of wax coming in. I can't remember it all. I know there's some more 89 Don Rust, but they're boxes. There's a 93 Pinnacle that has the Jeter rookie year. I think I believe it's Series 2. We'll also look for some Team Pinnacles. Uh, some 93, 94. I believe it was Series 2 Upper Deck Basketball. So we'll be looking for some Jordans. Always fun looking for this stuff. Uh, so don't get me wrong. I think there might even be a... I think I want some 90 upper deck again. I can't remember. I have to go back and look at the list. But one, two. Let's think about this. The pinnacle. Uh, there's something else coming in. Just not hitting me right off the top of my head. Perfect. Yeah, if you hear the crazy pug, she's like, uh, we gotta be up this late. Late. But like I said, odds of finding a PSA 10 here are very, very hard, especially when you start dwindling it down. To the guys you want PSA 10, very, very, very hard. This isn't like ripping 83 Fleer or something where you have a little bit better odds of maybe getting a 10 out of it. Oh, there it is. Oh, my, I pulled right to it. Jose Canseco. We got a little bit of off center going on. Might come back a good hard nine, though. Wow. Love this card as a kid. You just never know what they'll give it, but we'll get her graded. Probably come back, like I said, a nine. To me, I don't like selling this stuff raw. I prefer to do it as uh, graded, just because people always try to guess and. Oh, how's the centering? How's the edges? I don't know. Not really a grader. I think that upsets people when I tell them that. That's pretty cool. We pulled right to the Conseco. There she is. We'll go off to get graded eventually. All right, pulled right to it. That's kind of crazy. Good sign. Dwight Gooden. A lot, a lot of uh, potentials in this stuff.
don't even remember pulling two Consecos in one box, so, so that might not be the only thing. Maybe we can get a McGriff or something. Tony Gwynn again. Rose close on centering Dave Winfield Ozzy Smith Fisk Hmm, two Ray rookies back to back. Halfway home. That is a nice Conseco. Edges and corners are real good on too it's just a hot a front center and like i said I, I think it'll come back probably a nine but who knows my luck to be like a six somehow if it does come back i think they're about buck 25 buck 50 range somewhere around there or maybe that's the McGriff's a buck twenty-five ish. I haven't really had a chance to really look at prices onto it. I just remember their for the sake of sake was about a buck fifty. McGriff's probably a buck and a quarter ish. It's always fun opening this stuff. Remember when you were a kid opening it? Heck, I think these back in the day. Oh, I want to see a 35 cents a pack. I think. A nice Ricky there for you, Brian. I've been stacking Rickies on a back shelf here, too. So, eventually, one day when I get enough of them, I'm just going to send them out to you. I like to try to fill up like a 50 count or 25 count little slide box for you. Ah, got that one backwards. Alright, third row. Let's see what we can do here. Once she reads it a little bit better. Like I said, there's a lot of vets in here, some Hall of Famers like Dawson and stuff. I'm just skipping over them right now because I will go back through it all. George Brett, another vet, and K. Roo, both in the Hall of Fame. There's your Ricky Brian. A little off center, but still not too bad. Looks like it's got some, there we go, little shreds of white onto it, the wax. Oh, I see him right there. Fred McGriff, it is off center pretty bad compared to Conseco. Still a very nice card. Probably coming back there. Maybe six on to it. We're going to sleeve her up. It might be a filler. I mean, we'll see whatever we're at close to 100, what all goes in, what doesn't offhand.
Which is funny, because I get ready to say there's Paul O'Neill. And we know McGriff followed Paul O'Neill on out. So our Fred McGriff, as you can see, off center pretty bad left to right. Not sure you guys can see, go. He's a little bit better left to right compared to him. If we go like that, you can really tell the most. So we pull a little more magic. That's pretty cool. Both McGriff and Conseco in the box. And the videos I took a look at, we're lucky to get one of each. Or one of the one or the other, I should say. Robin Yant. And then our last stack here. Starting off with Diamond King. Good old Kurt Gibson. Danny Tartable. Man. He used to have some uh, good followers. Another Hershiser. So really a good box. I mean, yes, the centering and stuff on them is hard. But to at least pull those for yourself, not bad. So again, this is a 30, 36 pack box, nine packs per row. You, you get some good stuff out of this, you really do. And like I said, you can never like, oh, I'm gonna pull that PSA 10. It, it's hard. It really, really is. And if you can get it, wow. I mean, you gotta figure pretty much the boxes are selling for what a PSA 10 Conseco costs. So, I mean, it, it, it's more of, do you want to pull your own PSA 10 and spend, spend a lot of money, or do you want to go buy the Conseco PSA 10? It's where it really comes down to. Me, I just have that, I don't want to say that, too, but more of a nostalgia i'd love to pull my own stuff and say yeah i pulled that and graded a 10. probably my downfall but again we're not we're winning this stuff um okay i'm make sure i'll go the same way there so it's not a whole lot invested so basically maybe conseco mcgriff would pay for the box depending on what they grade out Because you got to look, it's 30 for the box, 8 a piece on that. We're already at uh, 46 bucks. Nolan for me. And then Jim Carter. Ah, it was 85. I thought it was 84. You can see how long we're going. There hasn't even been a rated rookie yet. Don Mattingly. I think that's the first one we've seen of him. So like I said, it's a bigger set, so it's harder to get a double. You would get one of these as a double. You have a very good box. Pulling both in the same box, pretty good too. Roger Clemens. Saw that J. A little bit more left and we are calling it a video. A little bit quicker tonight, guys, just for the fact that I know the video's a bit longer. 
and I just didn't want to really take a lot of time going through looking at some of these cards. I'll do it afterwards if there's any PSA 10 worthy, uh, either vets or Hall of Famers that may want to stick in there. World, nope, oh, only one there. Fisk again, that's a double one now. Of. Dale Murphy, 30, Nikoro. There's possibly, we might see another way of rookie, maybe not. See a little bit. But not too bad overall, we did get a Ricky Henderson from my buddy Brian. Got me and Nolan Ryan in there. We did hit both rookies. Fred McGriff, when I looked at it, you know, it's all centered for one, really bad left to right. The top corner onto it, just a little bit of weight onto her. Kitsenko, though, looks a lot better in centering. It is off left and right a little bit. Maybe they'll be gracious, give us a nine because the corners. Edges, maybe. We'll wait and see on to it. But again, thank you everybody for watching the Thursday throwback of 86 Don Russ. Box was productive. Nothing I've seen offhand, you know, bigger names that's going to get us a PSA 10, but really cool stuff to open up, getting yourself some rookies or Hall of Famers from when you were a child or well, even if you were a young adult. Really cool stuff to me. Guys, don't forget, subscribe to the channel. We're going to have some other boxes this weekend. Maybe pull some more bigger stuff out. Some newer basketball came out. Other than that, like I said, subscribe. Check out streamcardbreaks.com. We do have cards we're putting up there for sale. we got the initial put in there. I still got a huge stack here to get pictures of and get uploaded. So I'm going to try to get some of that done uh, this weekend, possibly next. Um... But the idea is to start the year off pretty good with the store stocked up on stuff. I mean, you've got Juan Soto's in there. There's a, a Cut Auto Willie Stargell. I'm trying to think here. Aaron Judge, rookie, PSA 10. Bowman Draft style. Uh, there's some Steelers, TJ Watts. There's out of five, Connor with the Steeler patch, rookie auto in there. So there's some good stuff. Take a look at it. We're going to be getting some other stuff in there. I'm trying to think how I want to do the vintage and label it out. I'll probably just say vintage for the time being, or maybe 90s, 80s, then 70s, 60s, something like that. But that's it for me, guys. I ain't going to take up much of your time. This is going to be with the intro outro about 30 minutes. Again, thank you very much for subscribing, watching the video, and liking it as well. I will see you guys later this weekend. Have a good Friday.